That'll be all. Get them out as soon as you can. Yes, sir. Oh, Butterfly. Yes, Mr. Dum Dum. Did you call the agent and tell them they'd need a magician to replace the great voodoo? Yes, sir. I told him the great voodoo did a disappearing act just today and didn't show up for rehearsal. He's going to send us another magician. Fine. Oh, and when my fiance shows up, send her right in. They're real, honey. I should hope so. Butterfly told me to go right in, so I did. I'm glad. Take off your coat. Oh, Montemore, they are precious. You could say that again, honey. Excuse me, honey. Never heard of him. Tell him to wait. Yes, sir. Help me with these, darling. Uh-huh. There we are. For this, you deserve a big kiss. Well, I've been welcome before, but never like this. I guess I shall return the compliment. Come here, baby. Why, you, I should break your neck. Mm -hmm. Tempo, tempo. Ah, 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 ah. You see, uh, entering the room without coming through the door, that's just a sample of my ability. I developed that trick because I had difficulties in getting someone to open the door. Uh, say, uh, your name ain't Richard Chase, is it? No, it's Smartamore. But I'm Mr. Dum Dum to you. Oh, okay, boss. And I'm not your boss until I see your act. Step right out on the stage, and I'll set up for you. Come on, honey. Let's see what this guy has up his sleeve. What's your name? Butterfly. Pretty girl. <laughs> and a pretty name. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> well, you see, I had to set up my props, brother, so I wouldn't lose any time. Yet. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. uh, madam, would you mind assisting me by stepping into this cabinet? She will not. You've got your nerve. I know I got my nerve, but I ain't got no assistance. Oh, Montemore, let me. I have always wanted to be a play actress. She's gone. Huh? What's the matter? Something wrong? If you want to lose that gal, everything would be fine. Cause the show is empty now. Bring her back, or I'm going to do something desperate. And so am I. I'm going to return these cabin tricks and get my money back. Close all the doors. Lock up the joint. Call the police. Quick, police. Variety theater. Something awful happened. Huh? I don't know. But as soon as I hang up, I'm going to find out. My sweetheart disappeared with a thousand dollar string of pearls. That's how they all disappear. No, but you don't understand. You see, she was hit, she got into the cabin, and all of a sudden she got out of here, and I don't know where she... Uh, of course, I... Uh, I ain't the least bit worried. See, that trick is guaranteed. And if it don't work, I'll get my money back. <laughs> and you know, honey, money is important. You can buy a lot of things with money. Yeah, I know. Yeah, like a ring. A real sparkler. <laughs> Dusty, but we just met. We're practically strangers. That's 
Right. Let me see. Who do I know intimately? Oh, but so we can get to know each other better. Oh, yeah? Why, honey, how much better? <laughs> there he is, Sarge. Grab him. Oh, killer dealer, eh? Do what you want with me. But harm not a hair in that gal's head. Come on, Sarge. Grab him. Uh, see you later, baby. Save that candy for me. Love is new, love is new, love, love, love. The Sarge wants you to reenact that crime. Yeah, and you can use one of my men. Okay. Step in there, shall I? Worry about a thing. Abby Cadella! Abby Cadella! <laughs> well, what do you know? And that's the way Lola disappeared. Hey, you. Would you mind trying that again? Both of you guys, get in there. We gonna get to the bottom of this. Abigadabba! Abigadabba! Now, don't worry about a thing now. I know they ain't here. They ain't the one over there. Ah, ah. Show you that. I think it's got to work once in a while. Ha-ha! I'm a good dabber! I'm a good dabber! You see, I got to do it twice because there's two of them in there this time. Don't it get it? I'm a good dabber! I'm a bad dabber! Ha-ha! I lose more darn cops that way. Suppose you try it with me. You see, uh, this could be a secret weapon, you know, or something like the, the atomic bomb. Come on, open the door. All right. You asked for it. Well, well, Where's the sign? Uh, I don't know. I, I guess it's over there. Wow, what do you know? It went. One, one, two, two, three, three. I'm even. I better quit while I'm even. Hey, you, take some notes. I'm gonna question this guy. Now, uh, how tall did you say she was? About the size of Dusty. Dusty? Where is Dusty? Don't let him get away. All right, you go that way, you go this way, you go here, and I'll go there. Ready, set, go! No, no, no! Let's try that again, men. You know, if I'm a hit in this show, honey, I'd like to talk to you about marriage. You mean you want to marry me? Now, stop putting words in my mouth. I said I want to talk to you about it, that's all. Well, if you want to talk about it, now's the time because the place is padlocked. And unless Lola's found it, the dumb don't won't let the show go on. The show must go on. There he is, grab him. Let's try that again, men. Not for me, you don't. Such a big boy is playing on the floor. Quick, he got away. Men. Tell everybody to get ready. The show must go on. That's just what Dusty said. <laughs> Open the box office. The show must go on. Yes, sir. Yes, Mr. Dom Dom. Oh. Dusty, 
owes it all to you. Does that mean you're going to get married? I said I owe it to you. I'd like to play a little number that features our two tenor men, Ray Abrams and Shirley Green. The number, Gator Serenade.
And now, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to introduce a very clever song stylist, Beverly White. Yes, back in Grandma's day. But you men are so much different now. That's why you hear me Nobody's 
is what I do. Now, if I junk his flivver and buy him a Cadillac, love used to be the thing, honey, but you got to give these modern men some jack. So if I see something that's kind of young and nifty and I feel like slipping him 50, that ain't nobody's business what I do. And I feel like doing some cheating. That ain't nobody's business what I do. And if you happen to see me out kind of late, well, I'm doing the same thing you doing, getting my business straight. And it ain't what I do. Now, if I look like I'm 50 and he's just 23, don't you lose no sleep, honey, because he must be sending me. Looks like he might be my son. That ain't nobody's business what I do. Now, here's one thing you know is true. There ain't nothing more invigorating than to surround yourself with you. And it ain't nobody's business what I do. So, honey, I done made up my mind to get me something young and raise him to my hand. When I get through with him, he'll really understand. And it ain't nobody's business what I do. Comes now those two tons of melody and mirth, Patterson and Jackson. And now we'd like to impersonate the four ink spots. 
Of course, there's only two of us, but we weigh as much as they do. That's the way the ink spots usually start off. You put a nickel in the jukebox, and it goes whoo. When you hear that, your nickel's gone. If I didn't care more than words can say, if I didn't Would I feel this way? Hmm? And would I be sure that this is love beyond the compare? Would all this be true? And now we bring you that dynamic personality, Jackie Mabley. But between you and me, folks, she'd rather be called just plain mom. <laughs> Thank you, children. Thank you, darling. I know you children all relaxed back there, sitting back there, look at it, Bob. You think you're going to hear some jokes, don't you? Well, mom don't know nothing. Mom don't know no jokes, but I can tell you some facts. Don't believe in them fairy tales in the first place. So don't look for none, because that Mother Hubbard going to the cupboard after dog bones and things like that, that never happened. Mother Hubbard had her gin in the cupboard and one of them squares. You know how your friends can come in, them chiselers and drink you up? So she used to tell them she'd go in the cupboard to get a dog a bone. She's going to get her a nip. Mother Hubbard was plenty hip, and you believe that. Another thing, wait a minute, honey. You'll have to 
laugh a little louder. Mom can't hear you up there. That's it. Thank you very much. See, I can't hear very good. Mom tell you how that happened. When they sent, when they sent for me to come down to Washington, they had some business they wanted me to tend to down there. They sent for me and sent me an airplane ticket. Nah, no, it ain't. I ain't scared of an airplane. I'm no square, but as you young children say, it just never moved me, you know, to ride in no airplane. Shown sure up, no sooner than I got in the plane, they strapped me down. The plane ain't got up no ways hardly for something with glue up in my head like that. I ain't heard nothing since. Both ears stopped up. Oh, I was so sick. I said, honey, the students come to I said, honey, my ears is all stopped up. She said, here's some chewing gum. I chewed that. That ain't unstopped them. I got right limp. I said, do something for me, honey. I'm dying. She said, drop your jaws. <laughs> And I misunderstood her. <laughs> they grounded me in Baltimore. Yeah, they, they took me off. But outside of an airplane, uh, Luther, uh, play that piano for him and tell him that number where it tells you about something else that mom don't have played. Go on, Luther, play it for him. I guess everyone has their aggravations, especially in certain situations. Now, remember, I don't know what you children might be, but here's one thing that kind of aggravates me. For instance, company happened to drop in, especially if they've been drinking too much gin. I say, now, listen, if you're my friend, don't sit on my bed. Oh, now, don't get me wrong. It's not that I think that your clothes ain't clean. And you know, Mom, I ain't never been mean. But there's a chair. Sit there. Uh, don't sit on my bed. I always was taught that chairs was made to sit in and beds was made to sleep. You're liable to get my blanket out of line. Rumple up my sheet. Oh, it's not that I think that it looks so hot. But it's mine, and it's all I got. In fact, I don't care if it ain't nothing but an army cot. Uh, don't, don't sit on my bed. Mattress start to getting all lumpy. Springs won't bounce no more. Sides will start sagging and... Slats fall on the floor, and you know that's a drag. Then you go home feeling all happy and everything, and leaving me with an aching head. Listen, Ben, if you're my friend, uh, don't sit on my bed. In other words, don't crouch on the couch, son. I don't like it. Folks, have you ever heard of a potpourri of dance steps? Well, here it is, with the Clark Brothers.
ladies and gentlemen, the King Cole Trio. I never lost my heart while stealing a glance, taking a chance, trying to romance. But when your eyes hang out that danger sign, ooh, kick Rooney. I never got excited making a date, meeting at eight, staying out late. But when you tell me Central Park is fine, ooh, kick Rooney. This is one time I can't say it's just one of those things. Since my heart spends all its time tied to your apron strings, I never had a yen for taking your arm, holding your charm, buying a farm. But when you put your sweet, sweet lips to mine, ooh, kick a rooney. One of those things Since my heart spends all its time Tied to you apron strings I never had a yen For taking your arm Holding your charm Buying a farm But when you put your sweet, sweet lips to mine Ooh, kick a rooney That's all Ooh, kick a rooney That's all song called Ooh Kick a Rooney. And now for our next number, a little ditty called Now He Tells Me. I crossed that intersection truck, came in my direction, crash. Then the driver said, Look out, can't you see that light is red now? He tells me. Now he tells me. People wait until it's much too late. Now he tells me. Went to a swimming school. Jumped. In the swimming pool, woke, heard the doctor say, they don't fill the pool till the middle of May. Now, he tells me, now, he tells me, people wait until it's much too late. I'm the kind who people want After things have gone too far Friday the 13th I was born Under an unlucky star I went to a gypsy fella Who was a fortune teller He Looked at me forlorn and said, Brother, you never should have been born. Now, he tells me. Now, he tells me. People wait until it's much too late. Now, he tells me. Well, I thought all my troubles would be over if I found myself a four-leaf clover. And I did. 
Then a farmer yelled at me and said I was standing in the middle of a poison ivy bed. Now he tells me. And closing number featuring our bass player, Johnny Miller, is called Breezy and the Bass. Ladies and gentlemen, those sensational kangaroos.
Where is Dusty Fletcher? Dusty goes on now. Find him, somebody. Dusty. Jackie, have huh? you seen Dusty Fletcher? No. Oh. What are you doing? Fixing my hat. What with? With this. Oh, that's fine. And it's mine, and I ain't gonna let Ninja none of it. Remember that. Say, uh, do me a favor, Jackie. What now? Rush out there and hold the audience until I find Dusty Fletcher. Hold oh, I declare. You sure is taking okay, place. Then. I'll do it. Well, let me say, I don't know what the... I ain't ready, you know that. I hate to rush and do anything. Rush, right? Come on, come on, we. Come on. Wait a minute. I've got that. I've got everything. Wait, where's my teeth? Oh, I got did you all hear the word about the guy that, uh... <laughs> Did I say something funny? Well, this guy come home one night, you know. And, uh... No, I ain't told a joke yet. Somebody shut them doors down there, please, so I can work. Hey, this I And this guy come home for a night, and guess who you say saw with him? Smash. Say, look here. Uh, 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 I've been around this man go around three times. Uh, see if you can get the brass ring. Okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, before I ask anyone up from the audience to assist me in this trick, I want to show you that, whew, that both of these cabins is empty. Sorry, son. See you later, man. Well, uh, it's empty now. And, uh, it ain't nothing in that one either. Come on, grab him, men. 
Ladies and gentlemen, no show is ever complete without a line of beautiful dancing girls. So, here they are. Get my suitcase. Uh, on the door, Richard. Hey, on my door, Richard. Oh, I'm saying, here. 